Hey there good people, welcome. So this is Speed Reviews, where I do quick reviews of products I've showed you guys, products I've been using, and tell you whether I would purchase them again or not. It's a wide range of things. So it's skincare, body care, hair care, and sometimes makeup. So in this video, I do have a fair amount of things to go through, so let's get started. And you could see this hair, I know people will ask about the hair, I'll leave the products I used in a description box, but you could see me doing my hair from start to finish in my transform and chat video. I go through all of it. You see me do it all, um, <laughs> bit by bit. So in no particular order, uh, just basically what comes to my brain. Let's start with the Super Goop Glow Oil, which I've really, really been enjoying. I was looking for something to make applying sunscreen on a regular basis easier. I like to take an afternoon walk regularly uh, and I don't have to like apply more sunscreen if I just apply that as part of my body care routine. It's so easy to use. I will say like if you turn it upside down like most spray things um, it doesn't spray so I have to keep it like vertical <laughs> but I just spray my whole body. And then I just rub it in and it works so well. It has an herbal scent. It's not sunscreen smell, but it's not like a great pleasant smell. And though it doesn't have a whole lot of product, it really is enough to get me through a season. So that's really nice. And I just, I just love the ease of it. I apply it as a top layer. It's an oil that has sunscreen. So I apply it after I apply lotion to moisturize my skin and it is going to make my skin glow. It does and it also protects my skin. So it's like the best of both worlds and I'm so glad I tried it. Then another gem is the Kosas Body Wash and I'm so glad I purchased this. It was gonna be this or Necessaire and I might still try Necessaire because many of you have recommended it. But this has been helping my body skin and my body acne um, by so much. My skin is so soft that is the biggest difference i've noticed like using the physical scrubs was good it was working but the chemical exfoliation is definitely superior for my skin it's just so soft i use it every day and my skin is so just like the i don't know yet whether the hyperpigmentation is better i won't know until the next speed reviews um but it is just so smooth and so soft and i get better shaves when i use it so I will definitely purchase this one again. I do want to try the Necessaire. Um, oh, and I should say it smells like baby powder products, like like baby products. It's my second Kosas product, and I'm really now interested in pro trying more Kosas product. I have a makeup uh, product that I will talk about in this video as well. But I was surprised by how good that is, and it wasn't easy to find, one, which was a daily body exfoliator that wasn't going to be too harsh on my sensitive skin, and that ended up being... Perfect, definitely fit the bill. Then we have Foot Logic's Cracked Heel Formula. Well, this was just me trying something new. Like, did I need this? No, but I thought it was interesting. It's like a mousse that you put on your feet and it softens them. And it's actually like a dry product. It's really weird <laughs> if you're not used to it. But I put it on my feet and my feet get a lot more wear and tear in the warm months because I walk usually most days and I also run a few times a week. And so my feet get so much more wear and tear. Yes, I get pedicures, but I do have to pay special attention to them to make sure they remain soft and just pretty, which is what I want, right? Pretty feet. And so the Foot Logics really, really works. And it's nice and light. So like I can put it on and like immediately put on socks. It really or like goes into the skin really well. And it just, it kind of surprised me in the texture a lot. And I'm just kind of happy it works and it's not expensive. I get it off of Amazon, but yeah, that was like a little bit of a gem that I was not expecting. That was just a random experiment. So let's move on to makeup. I only have one item and that's the Kosas Cloud Set. And it is a pressed powder. And I was looking for a new powder. I've been using the, um, what is it called? It's the Loose Setting Powder by Laura Mercier, which I really like. It's still a great product. But I have been traveling and I will be traveling more. So I wanted something pressed um, and I was just looking for a good formula. And so I looked at the various YouTubers and came up with that. And it comes in so many shades. That's what I like, like more than Laura Mercier by far. And so I have it on today and it doesn't give you like too much. It gives you just enough. It's pressed powder. So I apply it with a brush and you know, it's just, it's a good shade. So it really doesn't take away from my actual skin tone it doesn't leave any kind of like cast or anything because it's too bright instead it's just a really really good setting powder that keeps my makeup looking like this 
all day long like it it really looks like this um and i really appreciate that especially when i'm traveling and i'm going to events and things i want something that's going to work a, a powder that's going to keep me mattified or you know glowing but not too much for as long as possible and i really am happy with this the color i got for my whole face so i still use the laura mercier under my eyes um, when I run out of that, I might try something else, but I definitely purchase this again, but it takes forever to go through powder. I was very proud of myself for going through my Laura Mercier. So yeah, this was unexpected and really, really good. Now let's get on to the hair because I have mostly hair stuff. So let's start with the Nairobi setting foam, which I'm really loving. Guys, you can tell in my twist out series that this foam is winning. So you have to know that the Nairobi foams, because I've been asked this, they have the setting lotion, right? And that is the liquid that comes in a bottle and you do need to dilute. But the foam comes pumped, you, you pump it out, you shake it up, you pump it out. Um, so the directions don't say diluted. I, it doesn't mean you shouldn't dilute it, it just depends on your hair. It is a thicker consistency. It's, it's definitely gonna set your hair and stop the frizz. That's what I love about it so far. I haven't found anything that like rivals it in consistency and how it works. I would say the Alake setting foam does a great job too. There's just something about the Nairobi consistency that I really, really love. So right now it's winning. The Nairobi foam is really having my twist outs look beautiful and amazing as the humidity kicks up here in Georgia. Pollen is already killing me. Um, I need to drink some water actually. And then last but not least, we have a slew of Eco Slay. So first is the Chai Latte Cleanser and reading the packaging, it says that it's a cleanser, that it's not really harsh, but I found on my hair that it's really harsh. It is a clarifier that actually kind of makes my hair feel rougher and I definitely have to follow it up with a moisturizing cleanser. It is like by itself, it leaves my cuticles too raised and following it up with a conditioner just doesn't do it. Uh, I definitely have to follow that up with a moisturizing conditioner. So I would actually call it clarifying. Uh, kind of I wouldn't say stripping like it didn't it definitely got my hair clean but not to the point where like it's actually stripping everything off it just made my hair feel rougher and that could be like some of the ingredients um what's in it I yeah it could be the pH of the cleanser I don't know but it just wasn't it isn't the best cleanser in my arsenal is actually the one I reach for the least because I don't love it um i probably try to give it away <laughs> but um nothing i'm not knocking it it smells decent uh it's just not great for my hair it might work well for someone else then on the other end of the spectrum the banana Down cream there. conditioner a plus. and it was love completely it to the doing good things for my hair and it's only uh, there. it will great probably yeah you see how just it all the things have my hair needs to feel curly, happy like a really healthy, tight curly texture it needs to deposit quicker, add like it's, layers it's gonna start to stick together and, and it starts to lock right clean which i really so, love in a conditioner like right I, like that's right what i go for i want it to give me everything and then not be around when i'm styling right and it does that. It smells beautiful. It has a sweet scent. I mean, banana cream. But it's not like banana, banana. You don't smell banana in it. You smell cream. And it's just really, really a good deep conditioner. Definitely up there in the arsenal. Like, at the end of the year, it may knock something out because so many things have changed formulas. I'll keep using it. I definitely would repurchase it. Uh, I mean, I might repurchase it. This is definitely a moisturizing conditioner, by the way. It doesn't have um, a bunch of proteins at all. And it, it is just really good consistency. It knocks all the marks. Even the price is decent for what it is. And I have, I bought an Eco Slate reusable container. So I'll just be putting another pouch in the use, reusable container. And I really, yeah, I'll keep purchasing this. This, it is really good, really good. It's definitely worth your coins. And hopefully like Eco Slate is one of those brands that can eventually be in stores. And then next up, I think it's called the Rice Leave-In Conditioner. Um, that leave-in conditioner is definitely like, it's a good conditioner, leave-in conditioner. It's not my favorite. It's not bad at all. It, it has more, um, the oil balance in, in things. So it's not one that like is watery or like you have to apply to soaking wet hair. No, to me, it has more of an oil balance in there. So I, by itself, it is going to be great under things where it has all the humectants in it already. So like some of your botanical gels, you could use this under that um, or over your gels. The things that are like full of humectants, the, the stylers, I would use this for that. 
Um, it's not going to give my hair and it hasn't given my hair like intense hydration. Um, it's not enough to keep my hair hydrated for days. I still need to apply something that has film forming humectants, but it's still a good like light consistency. It's a great leave-in conditioner that you can like stack and I love that sometimes, right? I like to stack products depending on the product, right? Um, it can be very useful when styling. So it's definitely one that I would recommend you try. Um, it definitely, if you're high porosity, this might be really good for you. Uh, but overall, I enjoy it and I will continue to use it. It's not one that I want to give away. Like, I do enjoy it. Um, it could be great for twist outs, I think, more than anything else. But for things where I need a good base of moisture from my leave-in conditioner or hydration, I would not turn to this. But like something else where I'm just using it as a good base for styling, I would turn to this for a good leave-in conditioner. And then last but not least, the new Jello Shaw formula. I've been getting asked so often, like, what do you think of this formula? Honestly, I it, it works the same on my hair. Is it the same? No, but does it work the same? Yes, and that's all I asked for, right? Um, I'm not gonna get stuck on like the ingredients and what has changed, I, no. I'm all about practicality. Does it work the same? And on my hair, it works the same. It gives me hard hold. I would say the cast isn't so strong and that's a good thing because um it, it just like before would keep your hair shrunken and like really tight and now i would say it has a bit more give not a lot but like a bit more give to where it's one of those um gels where you will have good first day hair like it'll look good on the day one and subsequent days so it gives an a plus for me and i'll continue to buy it so in the comments, let me know any thoughts on any of these products. I'd really like to know. I'll leave everything in the description box below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out my body care routine videos where you can see me using most of these products. This is the eat morning routine. This is the evening routine. And if you really like this video, make sure you like and subscribe before you go so we can see each other in the next one. Bye.